Now, I know this is going to be a shocker to you, but we have yet another candidate who may be joining the presidential race. Reportedly, <laughs> ex, yeah, ex-Massachusetts Governor Deval Patrick thinks there's an opening for someone who'll be able to unite liberal and moderate voters, because he says he doesn't think uh, anyone's gaining <coughs> political momentum right now. He says he's that candidate. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. Um, <laughs> I mean, the, the, you know, <laughs> between him and Bloomberg, just the, the cojones on these guys. Yeah, I know. Well, I thanks. mean, because I, I just feel, how insulting to the people who are running. And doing well. You know? The people well, who are yeah. doing well. Right. Well, can you I know, point right. out that Ronald Reagan was the last candidate to enter this late, and uh, we know how that worked out. Yeah. He won. Yeah, and that and was also the 80s. Twice. It's an entirely different. The game has changed. In yeah, this the, is the, a little the, bit the different. The paradigm in which people get elected. And this guy is not the I'm guy to come in and do I'm this. I'm with Whoopi. I mean, it says a lot about someone to think you're going to ride it on your right horse and save the day when you've got 17 candidates running. But clearly, there are Democrats behind closed doors, and a lot of them on Wall Street, the big money people saying, we are concerned. We don't think we have the right person to be. This is apparently yeah. what's happening because you have more and more people that are jumping in the race. And Joy, I find your take on this so interesting because you've been a lifelong Democrat and your main mission is to get Trump out of office. Right. You're concerned about Elizabeth Warren. <laughs> I yeah, am. But, but you don't think Elizabeth Warren... I'm not alone. A lot of people want him out. Well, As I was saying to the makeup room this morning, I'm a very pragmatic liberal. I want to win. But that's why you said and Elizabeth I, Warren isn't the right person. Elizabeth Warren is scary in terms of she promises things and p people may not buy it. I like Elizabeth Warren. I did from the beginning. I'm a liberal. I like what she's saying. If she can pull it off, I'm worried about it. That's but all. The polls have Agree all I wish people would read Trump. it. There's an article today that I wish everybody would read in the Washington Post. It's written by Max Boot. Like B O O T. Oh, for God's sake, that guy. And wait a second. And Ma Max no, Boot. You know what? He who was a Republican and a conservative who he's turned. He's not. He was. He's not. He was. He is he is not. Before you he get was. into the. Okay. He is he not. We're going to something else. Wait a minute. Just one word. Because he writes what will happen to this country if Trump wins in 2020. Yeah. Read it and weep. But there are people like that, that people like Joy Behar go on TV and say, oh, look, it's the Republican, it's the conservative. Max Boot would vote for Elizabeth Warren, I believe. I don't want to speak. No, to that. absolutely. But there's not. a certain point, no, there's a certain point there are people that have completely <laughs> abandoned their conservative principles because Trump happened, and they have Trump derangement syndrome, and I take umbrage at the idea that people like that go on TV and say they're Republicans when they will vote for all liberals and all Democrats and support their liberal mm. policies. You, you abandon that's your principles. That's not true about him. He's, that's not true about him or any of these and again, never Trump. I don't have a personal problem they with that. They just Max can't Boots. stand him. No, when you're voting for liberals and you're voting for liberal policies, and you come out saying you're okay for Medicare for all, and then you go on TV Did saying he you're say a Republican. Max he's, Boots I, I didn't know Max Boot was going to be a hot topic this morning, so I didn't go follow up. Well, on all I know about him, and he did I not say that. I know about him too. People like him and Jennifer Rubin and many others go on TV and are quoted as Republicans when they might as well be liberals like you. They hate and I'm Donald sick Trump because it, it makes my life harder. Well, okay, you know what makes my life hard? Getting out of this. That's Max right. Booth.